Hello, in this short video we're going to be finding the minimum of average variable cost and the minimum of marginal cost from this cubic cost function, total cost function. So here's our cubic total cost function and we want to find the output that minimizes AVC, average variable cost. So the first thing we'll do is solve for variable cost. So variable cost is that part of the total cost equation that excludes fixed cost. So A is the constant or the fixed cost. Everything else with a Q in it is variable cost. So again, we get variable cost. Once we get variable cost, we can now solve for average variable cost. Average variable cost will be the variable cost divided through by Q. So divide this variable cost equation here through by Q. So BQ divided by Q is B, minus CQ squared divided by Q is just minus CQ, and DQ to the third power divided by Q is just DQ squared. So we get average variable cost, and now to find the output that minimizes average variable cost, we're going to take the derivative of the average variable cost equation and set that result equal to zero. So again, anytime generally you're finding a maximum or a minimum, we're going to take a derivative and set that derivative result equal to zero. So the derivative here of average variable cost, the derivative of B is a constant, that's zero. The derivative of CQ is just minus C. And this last term here, the derivative of D2Q squared, bring down the two in front, and then we're going to subtract 1 from this exponent, leaving us with q to the power of 1, or just q. And that is our derivative, once again, setting it equal to 0. Now we're just going to solve this for q. So just moving this c over to the right-hand side by adding c to both sides of the equation. And now dividing through by 2d. This is the output level that minimizes average variable cost. So this is the output level that minimizes average variable cost. All right, moving on. So once again, we have our total cost equation. And this time we want to find the output that minimizes marginal cost. So we need to get marginal cost. We get marginal cost by taking the derivative of total cost with respect to output. So the derivative of A is 0. The derivative of BQ is B. The derivative of minus CQ squared, bring down the 2 in front, and then subtract 1 from the exponent here on Q. You get minus 2CQ. And then finally, the derivative of this last term, bring down the 3 in front, and then subtract 1 from the exponent, and you're left with 3DQ squared. So that is marginal cost. We want to minimize marginal cost, so we're going to take the derivative of it. So the derivative of B is 0, the derivative of minus 2CQ is minus 2C, and lastly, the derivative of this last term, bring the 2 down in front, so you get 2 times 3 to get 6, and then subtract 1 from the exponent, we're left with 6DQ, setting that result equal to 0, and now, once again, we'll solve for Q. So just moving 2C over to the other side, the right-hand side of the equation, dividing through by 6D, It'll simplify down to C divided by 3D. So this is the output level that minimizes marginal cost. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.